welcome Mr. Minister of Finance for a second rendezvous in this house within this session. Mr. Minister, I wish to thank you for bringing this document which has all the lofty words and figures that you have read out to us this evening. The document is a budget orientation debate. And I want to believe that a debate is supposed to be a discussion between people in which they express their different opinions about something. So what I cannot configure here is whether it's a question and answer session or it's an informative discourse or it's actually a debate. Because as I will leave this study this evening, I don't think I'm going to carry anything more. I'm not going to be very satisfied because I'm not involved in any debate here. Consequently, I wish to find out what makes it very difficult for Section 14 to be respected that the document is delivered to us even one day in advance. What is the problem? Is it that the, the, your, your, the arm that you set in place to set this document do not deliver the document to you on time? Or do they give you and you think that it is we don't have a, a descending voice in this country to dot the eyes of the T's and so when the document will come, it will, it will just have to be voted the way it came. Even if it has to be voted, nothing changes. But at least let us give our opinion before it is not taken. It is not correct, Mr. Minister. It is not fair to the life of a country. We are a baby senate, but it doesn't take away the fact that the people who are sitting here are empty here. We have people who have done finance here. We have treasury experts here. We have teachers. We have all sorts of people here. What makes it impossible for you to give us this document on time? I really want you to explain that to us. That's my first word. My second worry is that will you yourself be very comfortable in November that this passes as a law? Where was it discussed? Because a few minutes ago there was a chairman's conference that lasted for 30 minutes. This one from every indication will last for about an hour. I mean, the reply is that we keep our political animations aside. We put on the human face to pick the broken pieces of our beloved country, Cameroon, and set our presidents right. It is not correct, and it will be unfair for us or for me to let you go without saying, I'm not talking to you as Mr. Louis Omuta say no. I'm talking to you as the Minister of Finance, who has the budget orientation debate in front of you, but the opponent, the opposite persons who are us, we have nothing to see. I begin to wonder where people are picking up questions from. I don't know where you have read this, that they come up here to start asking questions. I don't know. But I just pray to God that uh, after November, the next year or the preceding years, something has to be done and done with a human face to set the record straight in this country. In order for an individual to participate in any of their goals, which is either a discourse or a debate or a discussion, that person must, information must move from both sides. When it is a mono discourse, it means we have come here to listen to you. So I suggest that instead of calling it a budgetary debate, we just have orientation, we just say that at a budgetary discourse, and we go back very satisfied that we came and read to us and we endorsed and given us a law. So Mr. Minister, I'm just calling you to your conscience because what is happening is not correct. We are not talking here about 10 cases. We are talking here about 28 million Cameroonians who are in front of you expecting us to say things that are going to reshape this country so that all of this escalation of problems is at worst can be brought to bear. I thank you very much.